Hello, welcome to the Friday Crossword Masterclass. Now, Simon is busy. Um, I think he's doing well in a golf tournament. So uh, we, have to, we have to bear with me today, having a go at today's Times Crypt. And uh, I will take you through it gradually. Um, as last time, if things go well, um, I might have a go at speed at the previous day's puzzle. As you can see from this screen, there are four I haven't done. So I'm calling up Fridays. That's today. And we'll see how we get on with it. So one across says, fundraiser boarding vehicle, one alongside a restaurant. Now, this is one of those clues where you have to pick apart the bits of the clue and you have to bear in mind that one end of the clue will be a definition of the whole answer. The rest of the clue will be wordplay. And there are various things. I mean, I, I've worked out the answer which defines restaurant basically. So, um, or exemplifies restaurant is another way of putting it. In the clue, you can have a definition of which the answer will be an example, but it can't be the other way around without some indication that that's going on. Um, here, I saw a restaurant, and I could think of two nine-letter restaurants that occasionally turn up in crosswords. Um, one is Trattoria, and one is Cafeteria. So you might want to think how this wordplay, fundraiser boarding vehicle, one alongside A, could work for either of those. Um, vehicle. That's a nice word to pick on. There are, we're always looking for short synonyms in clues and the short synonym that is obvious in some ways for vehicle, there are plenty, but the most obvious one I think is car. And that appears in cafeteria. So what does it appear with and what does it appear around? And the answer is it's around F-E-T-E, -E, fate. And of course a fundraiser can be, rather than a person, it can be an actual thing. You can, have a, you can hold a fundraiser, which might be a fate. Um, so we put fate into car, and we've got cafeteria, and then one is I, that's the Roman numeral, and it's alongside A, the literal letter A, and we get cafeteria. And that's our restaurant in one across. Um, which is a nice start, because that's going to give us the down letters Sorry, the down answers first letters. So one down, Parisian pig swallowing a black stone. Now this is quite interesting. This is a, a feature of British crosswords is that a certain amount of French knowledge is reasonably assumed. Um, and I say reasonably, I'm not sure it is reasonable anymore because a lot of kids who go to school don't do French anymore. Whereas when I went to school, <clears throat> We all did a certain amount of French, so it's reasonable for me to know, the Times crossword considers that it's reasonable for me to know that a pig in France is a cochon, C-O-C-H-O-N. Now, as far as I know, there aren't any other words for that in French, so um, there probably are, but I don't know any. But that is the word. And once you know that then this is quite straightforward, even though I didn't know the answer was definitely a word. So it's swallowing a black on a pencil, for instance. Black can be B. I'm just looking at this pencil. It doesn't have that abbreviation on, but black can be B. So a pig cochon swallowing a B can give you cabochon. And if I knew jewellery better, I would know that was a particular type of stone. I think... I'm guessing it's a cut of a diamond particularly, but I've come across the word before. My wife would be appalled that I don't immediately recognize it, but um, it's one of those that's kind of knocking around the back of my brain rather than actually at the forefront. But it's definitely the right answer. So two down, easily tempted, following deceptive sort back. I don't quite know what's going on there, but I do know that following can often be the letter F. That's an abbreviation from editing and stuff I think so or from book references now easily tempted following deceptive sort back well a deceptive sort what is that somebody who is coming up with deceptions a liar so if we put that backwards after F for following then we get frail 
Now, can that mean easily tempted? I think it probably can. Frail implies weakness, and being prey to temptation is a form of weakness, so I think that's a reasonable synonym. I'm sure if I looked up frail in the dictionary, one of the definitions would be easily tempted. Uh, three down says, projecting well out of the box. Well, that's interesting. That, it doesn't look like the normal amount of wordplay in that, and I'm wondering if that means that this is a cryptic definition. These are often the best clues, because you read the clue, and I'm reading projecting well out of the box, and I'm thinking about an actor projecting or something sticking a long way out of the box, but I honestly don't know how the clue is thinking of this. So I don't know what the answer to that is, and I'm going to try these acrosses with two letters in instead. Uh, we'll come back to three down, clearly. Nine across. Scottish fine liberal for a fray. Well, it helps if you know some... <sighs> I'm going to say Scots dialect words. I'm not sure I know any Scots dialect words, but I do know words that were used to be said to be part of Scots dialect. So there's this great phrase that people of my age will have heard a lot saying, it's a bra bricked moonlicht nicht the nicht, which means tonight it's a um, fine, bright, moonlit night. And bra in that is fine. So if we put that with L for liberal, we get a brawl, which is an affray. And you can decide for yourself whether that's more likely to be seen in Scotland or at the Liberal Party conference. 11 across, city set down, nestles within volcanic hill. I don't know now, a city, I can think of Cologne, might not be the only city that fits this pattern. How would Cologne work? Oh, it would work very well. To set down something, in the sense of to make an entry, is to log it. So log could be set down. That would leave Cone to be a volcanic hill. And of course, that is pretty appropriate geographically for... Um, for a, a volcano, they form into cone shapes by the, the natural forces that create them um, regularly. Right, three down looks a bit like telegraph now. Projecting well out of the box. Well, I'm... Ah, no, I get it now. It's telegenic, isn't it? And it is a cryptic definition. Telegenic is a word that means looking good on TV. Like, if somebody is telegenic, they're a you know, a very um, appealing host of something on TV. So the box in this case, which I hadn't thought of at all, is a TV set. That is a British slang term for, the, for a TV from the days when they were box-shaped. Um, and projecting well just means looking good when appearing out of the TV. Telegenic. Four down. Eleven run Plantagenet Stronghold. Well, 11 here, I don't know what that is. That can be XI in a clue. It can be a reference to the number, the word at number 11 in the puzzle. That's not impossible. That was cologne. Hmm. A cologne can be a scent as well as the specific German city. Run can be the letter R. Maybe I don't know my history enough. The Plantagenets ruled Britain from... I don't know, somewhere around 12 to 1300. A Plantagenet stronghold that would fit here. I don't know. 11 can also be a reference to a cricket team, but I don't see how that would work here. Or a football team. Ah, there we go. A football team, yes. So, there are a number of terms, um, sort of names for football teams, like the... You'll know United and City, for instance. But there are more slightly generic names like Rovers and indeed Rangers. Now, for the answer to this to be Rangers, we would need Run to be R and Angers to be a Plantagenet stronghold. And since the Plantagenet dynasty originated in France, there's every chance that their stronghold was Angers. So I think the answer is Rangers there. Five down. Initially able, drunken driver completed the course. So initially, as 
almost always in a crossword clue is likely to refer, refer to the first letter of the word before or after it. Now here that can only be A. Drunken, we need to kind of break up drunken driver, not think so much about uh, somebody driving under the influence, but the letters of the word driver in a drunken state. And to complete the course means you arrive. So arrived is the answer here. We've got the anagram of driver following the A that is the initial of um, able. Now I would look at 13 across and immediately before reading the clue my brain would go to these letters and I'm looking at a possibility of organized here. That's all it can see out of the beginning there. Organized five letters feels a bit like organized crime to me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that expectation into the clue and see whether it's justified. America, scratch its skin to find this underworld activity. Well, underworld activity fits very well for organized crime, so we could well be on the right track. Um, and I don't know what the rest of the, what the wordplay is here. America, scratch its skin. Okay, so you get rid of the skin, the outside parts of America, and you're left with merit. Now, why, do you, why is that organized crime? Because it's the letters of crime organized in a different way. And it's therefore a kind of backwards bit of wordplay. The, the answer is giving the wordplay and you have to work out what it is from that and the clue helps you, which is an intriguing idea. Very, very neatly done that. Um, it is not trying to imply that America is the center of organized crime. I have no comment on that. 17 across, Poles touring states, here's America again, after servant in base makes bloomer. And you see, again, my pattern matching part of my brain is almost cheating on this because I've got this C in a five letter phrase, bloomer is making me think that we might be looking for a flower or a plant. Um, and the word I first thought of that would fit this and be a fairly common beginning of a phrase is black. And then I'm afraid I've immediately thought of black-eyed, and then I think black-eyed Susan is a very pretty small flower. And I have no idea if that's the answer, but I'm going to try and make it the answer. A servant can be a lackey, and that appears in Black Eyed Susan. So we've got bed around that and Susan to make up. Poles. They would normally be N and S, north and south. But here I think they're two S. Oh no, it's S and N touring USA. That's it. The States isn't US this time, it's USA. So that's where we're going to get Susan. And that comes after lackey in bed, which is servant in base. The base of something can be its bed. So there we go. We've got a black-eyed Susan in there. Um, my botanic knowledge is generally as weak as my knowledge of jewellery. So it's a bit lucky that I came up with a plant that began with black. Right. Ten across. Drug agent sends out missing tablet. Egotist on reflection. Well, the drug agent feels like narc, but I mean, narc or narcotic can be a drug, can be a drug agent. The egotist on reflection, I was thinking about Narcissa, Narcissus, who, ah, of course, yes, he, Narcissus famously in Greek myth saw his reflection in a, in a pool and fell in love with himself. So I guess that he is an egotist on reflection. That's very neatly phrased. So here we have narc issues, drug agent sends out. It's missing E, which is a tablet of the drug E, otherwise known as MDMA. And uh, my drug knowledge is also quite weak and entirely derived from crosswords. Um, 12 across, he said, claiming that to be true. 12 across, climbing orchid, poorly placed in front area. Well, the V there and the front area are making me think of van. The front of a, a line of battle is the vanguard or the van. Um, poorly can be ill. 
area can be A. So front is van and area is A. And this climbing orchid is a vanilla, which I sort of knew vanilla came from an orchid-like plant. I wouldn't have known anything about it being able to climb. That's interesting. I think that is clearly the right answer, though. Let's have a look at this down. It's quite surprising to me that vanilla would get clued by the, pl the, the flower rather than by the taste or even more likely the adjective, therefore meaning fairly bland and ordinary. Anyway, there we go. Six down, one between legs, potential cause of tears. One of the bugbears of crosswords, especially for non-English people, is that they use a lot of cricket terms. Um, and there is only one cricket term used here, but it's being used twice. The leg side of the field in cricket, the, so the batsman stands at, near the stumps and his legs are on one side of the field and his bat is on the other. And the leg side is sometimes called the on side and the other side is called the off side. So leg can be a synonym for on, especially in crosswords. And if we put one, again, I here, between two lots of on, we get onion. Oops, we mistype onion. There we go. And a potential cause of tears, because onions famously cause you to cry when you cut into them. Bomb makers here. Chopped sausage found in lavatories. Looking at the letters in the grid, I would have said Los Alamos. And was that where the first tests of the atom bomb were? Could be. Chopped sausage. That looks to me like salami, given these letters, with its eye chopped off. Then the lavatories can be loose, a common word for toilets in Britain. And we have Los Alamos. So I'm getting not only um, botany lessons here today, but history lessons. I, I would not have known. If you'd asked me where were the atomic bomb tests done, I would not have said Los Alamos. I may still be very slightly wrong about what sort of tests were done there. Maybe it was neutron bombs or something, but there we go. Right, plant found by neat border. Oh, well, it's botany again, isn't it? This one is an oxlip, I think. Not just because it fits this pattern. Neat is an old word for... Um, a bovine animal, a cow or an ox, and therefore we get ox from neat, we get lip from border, and we get ox lip from the plant. Or oh, that is how that is how we found the plant by putting those together. And then mathematician Blaze is very clearly Pascal in eight down. That's general knowledge that I feel good with. Uh, short film with old man. Well, old man can be par because they're both words for father. Short film is going to give a scowl, so a scale can be a kind of film on something, I suppose. Is that what that means? I can't think of a S-C-A-L something movie, so I think that's what it's talking about. Now, let's have a look at the downs. We have two with two letters in already. 14 down begins G something L. Cheerfully roam, that's making me think gallivant immediately. Dashing. Gallant, or gallant, as I believe it's meant to be pronounced, to trap one skein of geese. Ah, okay, well that's not... I was thinking it's trapping ivy to make gallivant, which I feel is going to be the right answer. Why is one skein of geese ivy? It's not because there's always four geese in a skein. It's not Roman numerals. It's one is I, yet again, for the third time in this puzzle. V is a skein of geese because a skein refers to geese when they're flying. There's a different collective noun for when they're walking, which is a gaggle. Can you believe that? It's crazy, but it's true. And when geese fly, they fly in a V-shape as they go across the sky. So that must be what it's referring to. 15 down. Retire to the country on about Tacitus being corrupt. Well, I do know this. Um, rural and rustic are the classic adjectives for in the country. And rusticate is a verb. Now, I think in it has been used to mean to put something out in the country, or you could rusticate yourself. Um, and we've got re around an anagram of Tacitus, and that gives us rusticate. What I find interesting about rusticate is I think the only context in which it's used now 
is when someone um, leaves a specific university, either temporarily or long term. And well, I say a specific university, I suspect this only applies to Oxbridge and they get rusticated. Um, and incredibly, my daughter has used that term this year for the first time. So I know it is still current. 16 down, skin with current, always the first to go blue. Ooh, I don't know what's going on here. Skin with current. Current can be I. Skin sometimes refers to the outside of things. Always the first to go. That's interesting. That, no, I, I don't know. Indecent? Yes, it is indecent. Um, blue is, a, is an adjective that can mean racy or slightly rude of a joke or a comedian. So indecent is a potential synonym for blue. And the skin here is a rind, and the current is recent, not an I. And if you take the words rind and recent with always the first letter going, you get ind and decent, making up indecent. Um, shall we look at the acrosses or the downs? Let's look at these two seven-letter downs, beginning with E first. Owner of Trollope's diamonds, cut with ease, perhaps. Intriguing. If that requires actual detailed knowledge of plots of Anthony Trollope's works, I don't have it. I don't think. I know things like the titles of them, one or two main characters. I'm wondering if this is just an anagram of cut and ease. I don't think it is. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, well, you see, an anagram of cut and ease could be Eustace. I said I knew some characters from Trollope. If that's a character in Trollope, I don't know him. So I think there's a fair chance that's right, but I haven't really got it. 19 down. Mountain woman in the first place needs sleep. Once I read woman in the first place, I'm thinking about Eve and the Garden of Eden, especially with that E. Everest is a mountain. Yep, the woman in the first place was Eve. She needs rest, and we get Everest. Okay, 21 across with an I, third letter. Dinosaur, disregarding rodent and duck, shows muscle. Oh, well, that's not easy, but if you think of dinosaurs, you know, you may come up with... We're looking for a dinosaur with I, third letter. That's what my brain was doing. It thought of Triceratops... And luckily, I immediately noticed there's a rat in Triceratops. So if you take that out, you've got Triceops. And duck can be a zero or an O from cricket. So we take that out as well, and you're left with triceps, which is a bit like the biceps, only with three connections. And is a muscle. Right, 23 across. Record one's lines for occasion or record one's lines for occasion. Epistle would fit, epitome would fit. A record can be an EP, an extra play, is it? Extended play record. Yeah, that's probably what's happening. Record one's could be IS. We're using one equals I for at least the fourth time in this puzzle. And then ode can be lines, a poem made up of lines. So episode is the occasion. And you can use episode not just about TV series, but about real life as well, where you have an episode of something, which is an occasion. Right, Signora Perone, to chatter idly about nothing and vanish. Well, the famous Signora Perone uh, was Evita or Eva Perone. And to chatter idly, well, there is an old word, prate. So we can now start to put together evaporate, which means vanish by taking Ava and putting prate around O. And there we go, evaporate. Um, 26 across, bodega, finally. That could be the letter A that we see in the answer. Bodega finally provided source for tequila. Well, I think, oh, you see, I'm going to pronounce this hideously wrong. I'm going to say agave, but the plant could be an agave or an 
a jar of, I don't know. Let's say it's an agave. I think that is the kind of cactus from which tequila comes. Um, and you can just laugh at my ignorance. I was going to say earlier, just as English people are expected to know a certain amount of French, it's clear from solving American crosswords that Americans are expected to know a certain amount of Spanish. And agave is obviously Mexican originally. I don't know whether the name is from Spanish or from a native language, but there we go. Compare lighter alternative. Um, don't know what that is. Alternative is often O-R. Lighter. I could, is this a triple definition? This is very unusual for a three-word clue to be a triple de definition, but match can be used as a lighter. A match as in a matchbox. To compare something is to match it, perhaps, and alternative. Can an alternative? Or maybe a lighter alternative is a match. Uh, what a cigarette smoker needs, or a, or a, frankly, a cannabis smoker, which is what I smell outside my flat more often than um, tobacco these days. Twenty-eight across. Fanatic to survive. Bracing term at sea. Hmm. Bracing. Can that be an anagram indicator? I don't know. I'm wondering if term at sea, which has two T's and an E in it and is nine letters, is anagram fodder here. But I don't know what the answer is, and I think we will come back to that. So Eustace is looking plausible. Now, I just don't know what Trollope novel Eustace was in. Maybe I'll look it up after this. I, I'm not even thrilled about perhaps being an anagram indicator. We wouldn't allow that in the magpie, but I think that's what's going on. We're looking at an anagram of cut and ease, and Eustace must have been a character who owned some diamonds in a novel by Anthony Trollope, which is quite extreme general knowledge in my personal opinion, and that's just because I don't know it. 20 across. Burn recusant's head in scalding vapour. Well, the clue implies, obviously, the normal meaning of burn, which is to subject something to fire. But here, burn is a scalding a river, which is the case in the north of England and in Scotland. And the sort of river it is is a little river, which gives a stream. And there we're putting recusant's head, the, the head of the word recusant, which is the, le the letter R in steam, to get stream. Now, 22 down looks like Epoch or Enoch. Time to manage rearing horse. And that is, therefore, Epoch, which is a measure of time or a a length of time, if not a measure. To manage, rearing, is cope going upwards. H can be horse, and I never actually know, is that? Because H and horse are both abbreviations for heroin, or is it because H can be a horse in an abbreviation in racing? I'm not absolutely sure, to be honest. But there we go. I do know that H can mean horse. In fact, horse coping is a thing. That means trading horses, but it's not being used there. 24 down. Satisfactory beer should be served up for beast. Well, beer, I would normally be thinking ale, especially as we've got the A here, but I don't think that's actually relevant this time. I think this time the beast must be the okapi, and that would give us OK for satisfactory, and IPA being served upwards. And IPA is a, is a type of bitter beer. Right, so we're looking at extremist, I feel now, for 28 across. Ah, so at C is the anagram indicator. It's applying to term to give us trim. And then we have exist around that. Bracing it, we have survive or exist. And that gives us extremist. There is the answer to our puzzle, done with full explanations in just under half an hour. And I'm going to submit that and check that it's right, and then see... I reckon the quick solvers are doing this one in five minutes or a little less. And by the genuine quick solvers, I mean people like Verlaine and Jason, if he's done it today. There's Verlaine. Five minutes on the dot. Nailed it. Um, <clears throat> now, John McCabe, who's moan... I think his times are genuine, and that 4 minutes 10 is very quick. 
Andy Fisher took 759, and after him, all of the times are genuine. The, the other early ones, Henry Wyatt, Ray Lewis, and Pontius, they just solve offline and then enter the answers for reasons none of us understand. Um, because you can press the enter without leaderboard option that I had there. So, yeah, interesting. Apart from Verlaine and Moan, then it's not been that straightforward. I mean, there was a fair amount of general knowledge in it, wasn't there? With uh, thing, well, I mean, you know, if you would count Okapi as general knowledge, then there's a lot you needed. Cologne, Narcissus, to know that Vanilla was an orchid, Black-Eyed Susan, Triceps as a muscle, Ag Agave, I'm going to keep calling it, Blaise Pascal, Los Alamos, that was the one that I feel defeated. Oh no, Eustace, I was going to look up Eustace. So um, let's look up Eustace in Trollope and see... Oops, misprinted. The Eustace Diamonds. You see, I even claimed I knew um, the names of Trollope's novels. Oh, sorry, you can't read that. Let me just switch that in. There we go. So, there we are. The Eustace Diamonds, novel by Anthony Trollope. So, okay, that's general knowledge that definitely defeated me as well. Um, intriguing. I didn't know that and I'm surprised because I would have thought I would have come across all of the Trollope novel titles in my life but that one I don't think I have. So oh, Cabochon as well. I mean there was a little bit of obs there certainly well there was a fair amount of obscure knowledge in the puzzle but it's maybe a classic example of the sort of knowledge that time solvers are expected to have or at least be able to access via the wordplay of the one or two like in my case Eustace and Los Alamos that they didn't have the knowledge for it's very interesting there is there is sort of this degree of knowledge that is expected in time solvers when I first met Simon he was asking for tips on solving fast I remember giving him a list of poems that I thought was expected you'd kind of be expected to know them or know about them and Victorian novels and things. I mean, there's Trollope straight in there, but uh, yeah, interesting. Anyway, they still prevail in some ways. So now what I'm going to do is have a go at Thursday's puzzle, yesterday's puzzle, um, and just go as fast as I can. So I'll leave the explanations largely to the end. And this is just to show you how I would normally go about solving one of these puzzles on my own. Um, and of course, last time I did this, it could be very difficult indeed. Doctor's order, almost received by another doctor. Don't know, least charitable about holy person. This is a tough one. I'm getting nothing here. My ideal place, it's found by the coast. It's, come on, give me an anagram or something. Wow. Okay, this is a very difficult puzzle. Take risks. What Moscow beggar may do, crossing certain junction. Ask. Wow, my goodness. Unable to take off bra. Okay, that's it. This is an anagram. Earthbound, unable to take off. Oh, so that's an O. Ask for ruble around T. Ask for trouble. Gosh. 15 down. Make children soldiers for fascist leader. Nineteen across appearance of an unwanted character. Typo. It's hidden in party politics. Right, one down. Least charitable. Meanest. Means test. Yes. Okay. Compilers in transport getting reduced fair from country song Austria oh, 
of course Albania and Armenia fit. Albania. No, Algeria. Aria contain it. Yeah, okay. Artist succeeded. Dega. Compile. This is sushi. One across. Doctors, medic. My ideal place. Corniche. Yes. Oh, what is this then? Medico or medic with a K? Order. Edict. Right. Medico. Okay, that's definitely right. Abandon a bit of boxing. Kick about for a bit of footy. Okay, five down. Showing conviction. Self-confident. Yes, it is. Six down. Fruit and nuts. Bachelors put away. Oh, uh, no, it's not ananas, is it? Yes, it is. Ananas, wow. Lover, maybe. Leander, one who's in... Yes, it is. He's the lover. Right, fish guzzlers... Sorrow after missing starter. I think it's Sprat. I'm not 100% sure. Lark's flight. Gathering wings in abroad. I don't know what that is. Oh, AD. Escapade. So it's not Sprat. It's Egret is a fish guzzler. Wow. Okay. Recorded work in car, Audi... With caution, audio, what's the caution? It's not tape. Better to reveal everything perhaps in this game, strip poker. Uncovers bum note, playing something with a bit of sparkle. <sighs> something stone, don't think it's brimstone. Uh, audio caution. Book. If you book someone, you caution them. Right. Clothing for panto with porn. That's a surprising word to be in the puzzle. With butterflies on the move. Nervously. Yeah. Okay. 18 down. Rishi. Can't be Sunak. Welcoming step that's ultra modern space age. As Rishi is a sage, of course. Hard to remember that these days. Cello. Straight guy, one found in a cage. Taser, a criminal without good means to suppress disorder. That's got to be tear gas. Running, drug, possibly dangerous sort of bandit. Let's go with one armed there. Phosphorus included by hand on another match. Replay. Yeah, 22 legal. 21 Profiteer is a usurer here. Oh, that's a rib then. True rib? Yes, it is a true rib. Okay. 15 down. Make children s reproduce. Underground resistance interrupts feminist movement. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uncovers. Bum note. Playing something... No, uncovers bum moons. Okay, and this must be motto, mustn't it? No, I don't know. Underground resistance. That's an R metro, obviously. There we go. So, I mean, that time in the end is not too bad. Six minutes, 21 seconds. A little over my average. But I think that puzzle's extremely hard, actually. I'm not just going... Hard. That's a very difficult puzzle. I expect to see the good solvers not getting this one done in five minutes. Let's have a look. So all the first few are just um, neutrinos who have pre-solved it. Then we get to, well, I'm not sure I can believe Moan's time of 3.54 there, to be honest. Mind you, okay, maybe I can. Verlaine 426. 
Mr. Chris, for, I don't believe Mr. Chris and Ray Lewis. Verlaine, 426. Wow. Okay, that's a lot easier than I realised. And I've struggled badly there. Andy Fisher, and a minute quicker than me. Well, hats off to those people. That's intriguing. Was that straightforward? I thought that was extremely hard. I mean, I just don't think these first few are really achievable. It's it's intriguing, not quickly. I suppose you could think of ed edict shortened in the first one. So let's just go through the answers. We had edict shortened in MO, medical officer, another doctor. We had the wings in abroad, AD, gathered into escape for flight. Lark was not the bird, but um, a synonym for a, a funny action and his escapade. Nine across Algeria was L for line, EG reversed for for one. In Aria, Lena around D, then twelve across Sushi was us in ship and ship's been reduced. Thirteen was kick a bout. You see now now I am reading them and I've seen those times and I'm thinking, well maybe they weren't that difficult after all, but they were for me. I don't think I'd normally get a quicker time than that ever. 16 across. Clothing for Panto was the letters P.O., the outside bits of it. And the Navy was R.N., the Royal Navy. Typo was hidden. Strip poker was a cryptic definition. A better, that someone betting may reveal everything perhaps in that game. Moons and an anagram of note in 22 across. Uncovers bum for moons is quite amusing. 23 across. America's phone is a cell. Um, ring is O. 25 straight was true. And to guy is to rib someone. Oof. To, to tease. 26. Tear gas was an anagram around G. 27 was on E. Armed. 28 was P in relay hand on to relay yes i hadn't understood that at the time then the downs we had meanest around st this was two down was s a s for succeeded and aged aged for getting on and written upwards three down was core which is represented in the clue by my because they're both exclamations and then niche five down involved an anagram um, the criminal, I think, was a con. The six down, Ananas, is the pineapple, um, which has just about come into English under that name as well. And it was bananas, meaning nuts. Not that nuts are literally bananas, but they're both synonyms for mad, losing the B. Seven down was Audi O book. Eight down, the egret, that fooled me for a bit, was regret missing its starter. Ten down was ask for ruble around T. Then 15 down was um, Oduce was the fascist leader. So soldiers was RE, Royal Engineers. Four was Pro and then Duce. 17 down nervously. 18 down Sage around Pace, Space Age. 21 down um, Sure, no problem in the case of Uproar, which are the letters you are. 22 down this was R for resistance in Me Too, which is the feminist movement. And that was briefly, so it gets shortened. And then 24 down. Here's our cricket again. On equals leg on a L for lake. And uh, OK, well, I mean, that was easier than I found it, apparently. But you know, I'm still not unhappy with that time of 6.21. I'm just very impressed by John McCabe. And, uh, and Matthew Marcus, very well done to them. Hope to see you again. Well, Simon will probably be back with next week's Cryptic Masterclass, but um, I hope to see you for a Sudoku video later today. Bye for now.